morning, BRN. This is Tiffany Meter from the BRN office, and I'd like to share with you the top five things for March in the BRN. First, this past weekend, over 300 people from our churches gathered in Philadelphia for the BRN Advantage. Here is a quick word on that from our Director of Healthy Churches, Dr. Larry Anderson. Thank you to everyone for coming and supporting BRN Advantage. I hope you were blessed and equipped uh, for the kingdom. To God be the glory. The second big thing in the BRN this month is the Refresh Conference on March 20th and 21st. This is our pastor's conference this year, and we invite all BRN pastors and their wives to attend this special time of encouragement and equipping. You can find out all of the information at brnonline.org slash refresh. Number three, the Annie Armstrong Easter offering started this week. We're asking all BRN churches to consider increasing last year's giving by just 5% so that we might receive some additional NAM funds to help with church planting right here in our state. The fourth thing is the annual meeting. That doesn't happen until November 3rd, but we are asking you to pray for the Program and Arrangements Committee as they are making plans for us now. Last month they met and chose a theme of Kingdom Living and a key verse of Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the Kingdom of God. Finally, our new executive director, Barry Whitworth, is asking that you would give us some quick feedback about how well the BRN is serving you and your church. Please visit brnonline.org slash surveys and answer our one question satisfaction survey. It should take you fewer than 10 seconds and it will help us a lot. Thank you, BRN, for your partnership. If the office team or I can serve you in any way, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at brnonline.org. I'll see you next month with the BRN Top 5.